Hi, welcome to module one for this complete hypnotherapy and hypnosis certification course. You've listened to the introduction video, you may have downloaded the training manual by now. So what we're going to do is to just move you through using these video modules to work alongside the material that's within the training course. So by the end of this course, you are going to be a fully qualified professional hypnotherapist. It's so exciting. This is one of my favorite subjects to teach. So let's have an introduction to hypnotherapy first of all. So to understand what hypnosis and what hypnotherapy is, you must understand what it isn't. So let's begin to just look at that. So hypnotherapy, hypnosis has been around for thousands of years. Quite often it can be associated with stage shows, stage hypnosis, entertainment, but you're going to be learning hypnosis and hypnotherapy for a therapeutic use. So I guess the term of hypnotherapy comes from using hypnosis for therapeutic use. That makes up the terminology of hypnotherapy. So what you're going to be learning is completely a world away from what stage hypnosis is. Stage hypnosis, if you've seen anybody in pubs, clubs, on the stage doing it, you'll see it's purely just for entertainment purposes. Using hypnosis for therapeutic use is completely and utterly different. What you'll find is it's a, um, hypnosis is a perfectly natural state of mind and it's something that we go into hundreds and thousands of times every day. So if you're driving a familiar route and it's almost like you feel like the car kind of gets um, to where you're going by itself because you don't consciously think, I'm going to turn the wheel, I'm going to turn the indicator on, I'm going to do this with the gears. You kind of just do it automatically. So you're already in a light level of hypnosis. In the same way as if you're watching a movie or you're engrossed in a book, it's that slight shift of conscious awareness from your normal waking self that takes you into a level of hypnosis. And actually you're also in it as you begin to fall asleep as well. So you must dispel the myths of hypnosis and what it is to your clients during the consultation period. So we're going to be looking at that. So really what you need to know as a practitioner or also for yourself is that hypnotherapy, hypnosis is a very natural thing that happens to us all hundreds of times every day. You're never not in control. Your client is always in control. Because remember, this isn't stage hypnosis. You're not doing it for entertainment. You're purely using hypnosis to take your client to help them to solve what their issue is. And you're going to find out it's a very real and powerful tool. So it's a focused consciousness. It's an altered state of consciousness. It's extreme relaxation and you're going to get to experience that as you move through with me in these video modules. It's very like guided meditation, if you've ever done that, but it takes you on a deeper level. And the hypnotherapist actually gives the client a series of instructions. So once they're in a level of relaxation, the instructions are given to the client and that, what's, that is what brings about the changes within the subconscious mind. But we'll be looking at all of that as we move further into this course. So let's look at some hypnosis facts. Hypnotherapy was accepted by the medical, American Medical Association in 1958. It's a very natural state of mind, as we've said before, and it's very, very safe. No one's ever been hurt by hypnosis. It, it's not mind control. So when a client comes to see you, they will be perhaps a little bit apprehensive about certain things. So it's your job to make them feel at ease, make them feel really safe, which they will do by getting to know you. And then in that way, they'll begin to relax really well and you can begin to facilitate the changes that they've come to you for. So it's very powerful, very safe, and it's a very natural thing that happens. You cannot get stuck in hypnosis, that's a complete myth. Um, the worst case scenario is that you or your 
not you as the hypnotherapist, but if you were doing hypnosis on yourself, um, or the client um, might fall asleep, that's perfectly natural. If that happens, your words are still going into the subconscious mind. The wording of sleep in hypnosis means to just close your eyes and go very deeply relaxed as if you were asleep. So it's completely and utterly safe and it's a very powerful tool for your client. And that's something that I am and I will be completely reiterating as we move through this because this is what you're going to have to kind of drive home to your client so that they do begin to let go and feel safe with you. So although you're not doing stage hypnosis, there are still certain myths surrounded with hypnosis and hypnotherapy. So you will be dispelling those myths to your client and they're gonna find it works absolutely fantastically. So let's look at how hypnotherapy, how hypnosis works. All it is, is a deep level of relaxation. You simply take your client into a nice deep level of relaxation. Like I said, if you've ever done any visualizations or guided meditation, you've kind of been in hypnosis anyway. All you're doing is you're getting your client to close their eyes, take some deep breaths and begin to bring their awareness inside themselves. As they do that, they begin to just relax and let go. And what happens is you begin to just start taking them almost on a journey. You'll see this in some of the examples that I give you further along in the course. But you begin to take them along a journey and it's your words that begin to open and evoke the imagination of the client. And by opening and evoking the imagination of the client, it means that the subconscious opens, allowing for any changes to happen. So it becomes very, very powerful. But again, so simply hypnosis, hypnotherapy, is just taking your client into a nice deep level of relaxation. And let's face it, who doesn't want that? We can all benefit with some relaxation, which is really good. So let's look at what I call the seven principles of hypnosis, because this is a really valid and quite important part. The first principle is collaboration. So you need your client's help too. They need to be at a point in their life where they're willing to make the changes, where they feel completely and utterly emotionally ready for those changes to happen. So you need your client's help too. I always say that a hypnotherapy session is 50-50. Half of the work, 50% of it comes from the hypnotherapist but 50% of it comes from the client. So they work with you with the sessions. They've got to begin to also make those conscious changes as well. And we'll look at that as we move further into the course. But collaboration, you need their help too. The second principle is forced cognition. Saying it makes them think it. So when you use suggestion therapy, you're making suggestions to the subconscious mind that enables those changes to happen. The third principle is sensory thought. So thinking about events begins to trigger senses. So using the skills you're gonna learn from this course, you'll be taking your client back to certain points. When those memories arise, the senses become more alert and astute making the whole experience more real. Okay, the fourth principle is physical thought. Thinking changes the body. So as therapists, we're all aware of the connection between the mind and body. And when we connect what's happening in the body with what's happening in the mind, that's when the client can begin to really begin to make those changes. The fifth one is feedback. Never be afraid to ask your client how they're experiencing the session. What are the changes that have actually happened? So from the end of the session, you'll ask them when they come around to their normal conscious awareness, did
Did they relax okay? How did they feel? When they come back to you for another session, then you'll also ask them, how have they been? What are the changes that have happened? So you're asking continuously for their feedback. Principle six is utilization. You make use of what happens. Everything is a resource. So you're going to be using your client's terminology. So you'll use their words from the consultation of how they describe certain things, what they would like to achieve, and you'll build that into the hypnotherapy session, always using their terminology. Unless it's negative, then you wouldn't. And the seventh principle, which is the main key to anything to do with hypnotherapy or hypnosis, is the confidence of the therapist. You must be 100% confident that you have the skills, the knowledge and the tools to be able to facilitate changes within your client. If there's any doubt that you have at all, the client will pick up on that and you'll find that the sessions are just not as effective. So confidence is the absolute key. You're going to find more about all of this in the training manual, but I'm looking forward now that we've come to the end of module one to see you in module two. Have a great day.